Mafia 2 is um, it's a third person action adventure game set in a fictional city in the east coast of America during the 40s and 50s. It charts this guy Vito Scaletta that sort of rise into a life of organised crime along with his buddy Jack. <laughs> What is it that you want? I want to know why you had our friend killed. Well, like every classic mob story, Mafia 2 is a story about friendship, betrayal. The guys who you think are the bad guys might not really be the bad guys. Your best friend might be the bad guy. The thing that's really important to us is this sort of cinematic storytelling that uh, the guys here at 2K Check can sort of achieve. Something we're really proud of, something we've invested so much time and effort into making sure it's perfect. We want to present the whole game in a Hollywood film-like style, and visually it looks amazing, but it's the story that's the most important thing for us. It starts off with, it's just about Vito, and then the first guy you meet is Joe. He's Vito's best friend, and then you'll meet Vito's mother and sister right away. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy's home. Vito's a nice guy. He has strong morals. He doesn't kill people because he wants to. He kills because he has to. He just wants to get a bit of money, a bit of respect, and a bit of power. Vito doesn't aspire to be the dog. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. When I first got the first version of the script, one thing that really stuck out was that it was a buddy story. It wasn't just one guy on his own doing what he wants. Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. Joe's sort of a shoot first, sort of ask questions later sort of guy, you know. Joe is the guy who comes up with the schemes and or, or tries to come up with the schemes, and Vito kind of make sure that they both don't get arrested or killed. Joe just makes some pretty dumb decisions through through the story, you know, and the, Vito is just left to sort of like deal with that and sort of get Joe, his, his best buddy, out of these scrapes. Don't worry, I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Sounds a little too simple. Our goal was to build the relationship in such a way that it's clear to us, or to the player, that Joe is his best friend. Something like family, if not even more. We'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Besides Joe Barbaro, there's a lot of other characters that Vito meets and interacts with and becomes friends with throughout the story. The first real mob guy you meet is a guy named Henry Tomasino, who gives you kind of your first big break. And then uh, this guy named Eddie Scarpa, who's uh, kind of similar to Joe in that he likes the booze, he likes the women. It's an open world city with a very strong linear story traveling through it, which is maybe a little bit of a different structure than we see with other open world games. With our game, the story is incredible, the dialogue is amazing. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. What we wanted to chart was this guy's rise through the ranks of the Mafia. The Mafia is pulling the strings. If you're ordered to do something, you have to do it, even if you don't agree. Otherwise, you won't survive, or you might lose a friend, or even your family. You're gonna do us all a favor, and if I refuse, you die. The life of a mobster isn't what it's all made out to be, you know. It's not all really glamorous, you know. It has some really bad things that happen to it, and we really explore that during the story. I think it's really interesting. People are gonna really enjoy it. What'd you say your name was? Vito. I need someone to give him a little much. Ten bucks a man. What if someone makes a fuss? Well, then you'll have to convince him otherwise.